So I'm here in Excel. I'm using it on the Mac, but this is going to work exactly the same on Windows. I've got two charts here. I have this chart and I have this one here. But this one here on the right is not actually a chart. It's actually a picture that I've created from the chart. So I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment. Now, the thing about creating a chart like this is I could save it as a picture. I could also copy it across into Word or PowerPoint. Or you could even, as I said, save it and it could then be used social media, on the web, or you might even want to just email it. The difference is between this chart and this one is that over here I've got my data and you'll see if I click on the chart it actually highlights that but if I click here on the picture it doesn't. If I was to change any of these figures, let's just change this dramatically to 2000 here, you'll see it suddenly changes here but it doesn't change on the chart that's a picture. So just bear that in mind if you're doing this. Every time you make a change, you might have to then go and copy and put that picture in again. So let's take a look at how I did that. Let's just go back to that figure there. I'm going to delete this one. You'll see this one's got formatting as well. It's got an edge, it's got like a frame and also a bit of a reflection, which can be nice. And I'll just quickly show you the picture formatting when I've redone this one. I'm also going to show you how to put it into PowerPoint and Word. As I said, this is the same if you're using it on Windows as well. So let's just delete that. So I've got my chart here. All I have to do is click on it. So I could just use my shortcut keys to copy it on Windows Control C and on Mac Command C. I could right click here and choose copy. Or I could have actually gone over here onto my ribbon as well. So all I need to do now is just find somewhere to copy it to. So I'm just going to choose a cell. I can right click and choose paste special and choose paste picture. Or on the ribbon, I could just come over to paste, click on the drop down, it's got paste as picture. And there you go, it's pasted it in. Now, just very quickly, let me go over to PowerPoint and then onto Word and I'll just show you, you can do the same thing. So if I'm here in PowerPoint, I can now go into paste and again, paste as picture. And you'll see on PowerPoint, it's actually come up with suggestions for formatting here, how you would like it to look. So you could choose something here. You have got picture format at the top, just like we've got on Excel. If I click there, you're going to get the same sort of formatting options. And we're going to go back to it in Excel to have a look. Let's just quickly go into Word. And over here, again, I could do like right click, paste special, and I could choose a picture. There are three different options. I might just choose the PNG one. That's a very popular one. Now, the slight difference in Word is if I go up to paste here, there's paste special. And if I do that, that comes up with the same options that I just did when I right clicked. OK, let's hit cancel. Let's just go back to Excel. I'm going to show you how you can save it. And this is also the same in Word and PowerPoint. So to save it as a picture, so you could use it somewhere else, you can just right click, save as picture. OK, I'm here on a Mac, so this is the folders here. So I'm just going to do chart 2022. And I can save type as PNG. As I said, that's popular. So it's JPEG. We know JPEGs work all over the place. You can create a PDF, GIF or BMP file. Let's leave it as a ping and I'm just going to do save. Now, as I said, you could now then use that in social media, on the web, in an email and so on. You could even insert it into another application, which PowerPoint, Word, Photoshop, you name it. You could do it so you could take it into Photoshop and adjust it. Right. So I could do some formatting here. And again, as I said, this works in the other Microsoft apps as well. So if you're going to picture format. You can see you've got a whole load here. You can see here that you've got your styles. So you can choose something here to make it look different. So you can choose anything here. So you can see this one's put in a bit of a reflection. And you've got a whole lot including maybe even putting it off at a bit of an angle with a shadow. Okay, you could put in a picture border. So you could have a red border around it like that if you wanted. 
you can explore a lot of these options because as you can see there's lots here and you can just try them out if you don't like something you can just use undo to go back so the picture effects again you've got things like shadows i could in the shadow there that i had i like that other shadow i'm going to undo command z or control z on um, pc puts that back you can see here you've got 3d rotation all sorts of things you can do here very popular is reflection so you've got a bit of a reflection underneath here that 3d effect might just be a little bit too much but so maybe that might be better mm, maybe not so much okay but what you can do is you can add in a glow which goes around the edge here so i could pop that in so you can see a tiny bit has come up here but i think you're getting the idea so it's just a picture you can move it around you can change the size of it but just don't forget that if you make a change here let's just do that again it's not changing anywhere else you can copy and paste this into word and into powerpoint where it does actually change and i'm going to do that for the next video thanks for watching if you do like this please do like share and subscribe